Hey everybody, welcome back to Greedfall. We are going to compose our team with uh, Kurt and Siora. I guess I'll deselect Basco here and bring Kurt along. And then uh, we're going to talk to him and I, he should give us that backstory Green now. Blood. Tell me, do you remember that young recruit I spoke to you about? I would still like to present him to you. Do it. So then, would you like to accompany me to meet him? Yes, sir, Kurt. Yes, I would. Uh, oh, we have to meet immediately. Uh, that's fine. Yeah, we of can do course. that. Let's go. We can definitely do that. Find the young recruit in the barracks. Now, I imagine that this is going to be back in New Serene, if I had to guess. Yeah. So, I know it says immediately. I'm hoping that that's not gonna actually be the case because I would really like to meet with these governors and figure out uh, what they know of the Malachor. So we're actually going to jump over there and uh, do that. Oh, the, yeah, the Bridge Alliance is here. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Let's go. You... You'd better go and meet this governor without me. Why is that? War, I'm oh, okay. I'm not certain that I can remain calm if I see such a man. The little one's not wrong. You came to flatter him. The oh, that is, is like really interesting. Him, but you are the diplomat. Whoa. So they're actually saying, I suggest that I stay back. Okay, that's so cool. That is so cool. Well, join us then. <laughs> That's really neat. I've never seen a game do that before. You can uh, usually make up your party of whoever you want and then it doesn't really have an impact. But for them to be like, hey, this is probably not the group you want to bring. It's cool. That said, potentially maybe there's a way that we could have repaired their uh, kind of view of each other or something. Would also be kind of neat. And we'll try that at some point. Not a bad setup. Your Excellence, it is an honor to meet you. Allow me to present my sincerest regards in the name of the Congregation of Merchants. And allow me to wish you and your cousin a warm welcome to the island, in the hopes that this visit will help prolong the profitable relations between our two nations. Likewise. Nevertheless, another question brings me. The Malachor. The Prince d'Orsay hopes that these new shores will bring us new possibilities. Even a remedy. It is an area that concerns us greatly, but be assured we are studying it acutely. Our doctors and alchemists are particularly interested in the flora of the isle. It's extremely varied and different from our own. In fact, we have sent a group of explorers into a very promising sector. Alas, we've had no news from them for quite some time now. We are hoping that nothing has happened. We would have sent a patrol to investigate, but we cruelly lack the means to do so. The natives have proven aggressive, <laughs> even hostile to there our studies, and have attacked us regularly. We are obligated to maintain all of our able-bodied men here in order to protect the city, but we would be happy to share with you the results of our research if... Your Excellency... This insolent interruption is untimely and unwelcome. I deeply regret, Excellency, but one of our frontier posts has just suffered a brutal attack. Report then and be precise. The natives attacked us by surprise. Our men were massacred. Uh -oh. Our frontier post is lost. One more act of barbary. Dismissed, soldier. Where was I? Yes. We would be most pleased to share our discoveries with our allies if your cousin would send us a party to help us find our lost expedition. I could show you to which region they were sent. 
I thank you for the information and will let him know. If you are of a mind to accord me another request, I would be truly grateful. I'm listening. As you have not failed to observe, our troops, as well as our caravans, have been suffering incessant attacks. The merchants, including your own, are raided, often killed, and certain goods have become scarce. Captain Rainhild, who commands our outpost in the plains, has communicated his incapacity to protect them. Considering that certain of your own fellow countrymen are involved, you would like me to lend a hand? I will see what I can do, Your Excellency. Would you like to speak with me about any other subjects? I uh, might have a couple of questions for you. Uh, what about Hikmet here? Could you tell me a little about your city? Hikmet is the oldest city on the island. Okay. We began construction of its first buildings 15 years ago, shortly after the discovery of the island. A magnificent city, where the great minds of the time were united in a common goal. Here you could find the best doctors, the greatest engineers, and the most eminent savants. In everyone's eyes, this island has great promise. And Hikmet is the city that allows us to make good on that promise. So, this was the first city 15 years ago. And then we had a uh, new Serene about five years ago. And I'm assuming the other ones, I guess... I, I don't know, maybe we'll find ones that are newer than new Serene. Who knows? What about the war with Teleme? And what of this conflict with Teleme on Tirfredi? Officially, we are at war. But we have never waged war openly here. Of course, we did not rejoice when they set up camp on the Isle, and we expected the worst. But it seems that their only concern is to convert the natives into believing their ridiculous teachings. Right. They represent no true danger to us. At least, not for the time being. And to be frank, we have plenty of other concerns that demand our attention. Religion is a powerful thing, buddy. It's very powerful. I have to go. Look forward to seeing you again. Farewell, my lord. All right, so immediately I'm kind of thinking, well, we can go in and help this guy. We've got the attack on caravans. Um, but he said that they're getting attacked by the, the, like, basically the locals, right? Or the people that were here before. Um, so I wonder if we shouldn't bring Siora with us. I would think we probably should consider it at least. Where is this outpost? Let's take a look outside. Maybe she's not the best to come and meet diplomatically, but if it is in fact her people at doing the attacks, she could be really useful for obvious reasons. Okay, so he's down here. I'm gonna go ahead and grab uh, Siora. Ask her to come along. This could... I mean, this could backfire. <laughs> considerably. But I'm gonna hope that it doesn't. Okay, Vasco. You're out. Siora, you are in. Let's roll. There's still some areas over here. I'm not sure if these are going to be merchants or what have you, but let's check them out before we go. Okay, so it's like, <laughs> it's like in the back there. What is this place? Coin guard barracks, prosecutor's office. Okay. So I imagine a lot of these are just going to be things that we stumble upon uh, through quests. I, I would think. Oh, I don't have any way out of here, do I? I have to go back this way.
So I wonder if, if people are coming to this island, their relationships with the different factions probably garner more decision of where they're going to stay between Hikmet and like someplace like New Serene. Also, um, you guys had mentioned, whoops, you guys had mentioned that uh, crafting items actually don't take, don't have any weight to them, so I don't really need to store them in the, uh, in the chest. I, for some reason, I was just convinced that they did, but I guess it's pretty handy that that's not the case. So at some point, I'll just carry all of that stuff and we'll use the storage for maybe uh, different weapon types or something. Things we don't have an immediate use for, but that we don't want to get rid of. Like a hammer, for instance, that is currently sitting in there. Okay, so let's see how this goes. I don't know if they're going to acknowledge Siora being here or maybe it won't be as huge of a deal as I think. Hello, Captain. Your Excellency, what can I do for you? Oh, look at this. Governor Burren has asked me to help you fight against the caravan attacks. Could you tell me precisely what's going on? Notice how it was well, translated in the other... ...by the savages. They're waiting for groups of soldiers or caravans to be out of sight of the outpost and attack with incredible violence. They don't just steal goods or equipment. They kill without mercy. Only one man survived their last attack. He's here in a sorry state. Do you think he could answer a few questions? Yes, but take it easy on him. I'll make sure I do, Captain. Now, okay, another thing I'm wondering is, are they... Are we seeing that translation because Sior is with us? That would be cool if so. You might be freaked out by her, but... Hello there. We'll see. My name is Desarde. I'm the legate of the congregation. I was informed that your caravan was looted and that you were the sole survivor of the attack. It's true, Your Excellency. It was awful. All those deaths. The violence. We followed the recommended precautions to the letter, but it was useless. Okay, so what exactly happened? How did the attack happen? We traveled all day. We were exhausted. And night was approaching. We knew we were not very far from the outpost, but we couldn't go any further. So we camped away from the road, trying to stay out of sight. Alas, it was in vain. That's when they struck, in the middle of the night. In the middle of the night? Were there several attackers? I counted five, maybe six. But others were hiding in the woods. I'm sure of it. If they only had their usual stone weapons, we may have hoped to escape them, but their weapons were inflamed. Hmm. I have never been so scared in my life. That doesn't sound like savages to me. What were you transporting? Mostly food, but also herbs and other ingredients for scientists. Did the attackers take it? Everything was a blur. I don't know if they intended to steal or destroy it. Unfortunately, my companions died while trying to protect our cargo. Are you saying that the loot has started by attacking your cargo? Yes, Your Excellency. Hmm. Maybe more of us would have survived if we'd all fled. See, the cool thing about this is that there's always, like, there's always a subtle twist. And I'm always kind of thinking, well, what, what is this one? Why? Did it... it was the goods, it seems like, is the primary issue for the savages. You mentioned recommended precautions. Yes. Since attacks occur often... We were given a number of precautions to avoid them. Such as? Do not travel at certain times. Do not camp near the road. Do not light any fires. Jeez. All of it was useless. It would have been better to recruit guards to escort us. Hmm. Based on what you're saying, the attacks were very targeted. They must have a camp near the outpost to monitor the road. But what is their goal? Why attack all the caravans along this route? They must want to cut off the supply yeah, lines. Yeah, it's a trade them. thing. We'll go to the scene of the attack. I might find something there to help track these rebels. Stop the trade routes and then Hikmet would basically fall, right? 
So this is probably taking us out here, which is fine. Let's go. I don't know about you guys, but I tend to enjoy taking one mission at a time. Um, not getting... It, it, the thing I try to avoid is getting an overwhelming amount of missions. Because... It feels genuinely difficult to remember... Whoa. Was he just... Did he just charge me? Or is he running away? I think he's running away. The caravan was some distance from the road when it was attacked. Actually, I'm going to ask her and see if she has anything to say about this. On all Manawi, do you need something? No. I must leave you. See you later. I'll assume that if there's anything contextual that they want to add... But they'll just do it. Here we are. Stay alert. Oh, damn. I thought we'd be traveling out of here. I mean, there's... It's definitely a camp set up. Oh, what's in the... F what is that thing? What the hell is that? Look at that. The crates are empty. Their entire contents have been destroyed. These goods were not meant to reach their destination. Oh wait, this is not a camp. This is another destroyed caravan. That's my bad. The food has been destroyed. They clearly don't need it, which means that their camp should be close by. Yeah, protected by this giant winged beast. That's cool. They must have died protecting their goods. How sad. What the These wounds frick? appear to be caused by stone blades. The kind of weapons that islanders use. They acted quickly, methodically, and then left. But where are the bodies? Let's look around. Ah, oh, this is gonna be this is gonna be trouble. Whoa! Whoa. Okay. <laughs> I thought, he like stunned me, tw <laughs> me twice. Holy crap. He like, the first hit stunned me, and then I couldn't attack, and then he hit me again. Okay, we're gonna need to be a lot more cautious here. Everyone all in on this one, please. There we go. I'll keep them stasis up. Or at least we'll keep the big guy stasis up. Oh, that's pretty good, guys. What about traps? Can these hit flyers? Green blood. I can't hold on, my Oh, boy. Nope, maybe not. Whoa! Oh, shit, they do work. Uh, wait, that might not be the, the one I want. Whatever. Okay, they do 100% work. I don't have any ammo. <laughs> oh, the poison! Okay, now that we can set traps instantly. Man, these things, like, it's so hard to gauge. You take a couple of hits, and they're just, like, bananas. How strong they are.
Health potions, doublets. Okay. Oh, I didn't hit these this time through. The food has been destroyed. They clearly don't need it, which means that their camp should be close by. The crates are empty. Their entire contents have been destroyed. These goods were not meant to reach their destination. They acted quickly, methodically, and then left. But where are the bodies? Let's look around. Find the rebels. So this is just a dead end. <laughs> okay. Because I was thinking, well, maybe... Maybe it's not the savages. Maybe it's these creatures. And they're mistaken, but... Stasis seems to be extremely helpful. Take people out of the fight. The traps are nice. We can set them instantly. But, and I've been saying this for a while, we are going to have to... We're going to have to get some ammo. Crafted or bought. Hmm. Lace drinks, metal dowels. Okay. I don't like that there's a camp right there. Oh, frick. Are you seeing this? Without any ammo. Move away. Things are about to get dicey. How is this man's body arranged like that? That's better. There's something in his pocket. So they seem to be in these zones, and if we go if we stray a little too far, then we de-aggro. Intact heart. Hmm. Is he? Hmm. Unfinished letter from a merchant to his family. My dear, I'm afraid this trip will be my last. We were very cautious. We even ate cold food every night because lighting a fire was too dangerous. And yet... I feel as if we're being observed, and I'm afraid they might attack us from one moment to... boom. He was in the caravan, but whoever attacked him decided to drag him here and feed him to the wild beasts. The Donea Ectragal do this as a sort of scare tactic. Huh. This is a message for other merchants. Should we be concerned? Because... That's pretty intense. God. Okay, that looks intimidating. Oh, I see him. Damn it. Oh, he's only... He's... Okay, this is going to be really problematic. Yeah. 
Help! Oh, I didn't want to didn't want to do that. Oh god. Hurts down. Make him come this way. She's going to be toast. guy's way above my pay grade right now. Oh, that's pretty good. The big boy is down. There we go. All right. Okay, so some of these things, like uh, scales, bezoars, um, they do have some weight. So some some of the things do. Maybe most don't, but. Also, I am seeing the value in traps. This is kind of fun. To just be out here and running into who knows what because we're really having to consider our options more than some of the bandits that we were dealing with earlier. Hello? Oh, really? Get me out of here. What is that? We're close to the target. Yeah, what gives you that impression? Holy moly. I can't wait to spend all of my money on ammo and traps. <laughs> Honestly. It's unbelievable. Obsidian hammer. Is that the same as the one... The one that we got was... Uh, looked like a rare version, but... Oh, not these freaking things. I really... I wonder if we can skirt past them this way. Oh, uh, he kind of sees us. And we might be okay, actually. I know we can inspect them when we're paused, um, and in battle. Level 3 Vigor, damn it. <laughs> okay, well. Don't make eye contact. And of course, Nightfall. You guys ready for this? 